Okay, this week, uh, Jukula asked, how do I insert a URL list that includes pictures, etc.? Also, like an announcements list. So, I think what she wants to do is include something like we have here on the PDHP website where there is a picture uh, and a link. Okay, so what we're going to do, I've created a basic website here that we're going to use today. And we're going to insert a whole, uh, a few pictures, and those pictures are going to take us to various websites. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my first picture. A good tool to use is Google Images, and I'm going to look up Board of Studies logo. So I obviously want that to take me to the Board of Studies. This one's pretty good. Uh, it's, it's decent quality, so I'm going to copy that image. Uh, I'm going to go back to my website and I'm going to paste that in. Okay, at the moment this image doesn't take me anywhere. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to press this button up here, which means uh, which link. Uh, this is going to take me to the Board of Studies website, but I'm going to have to tell it to. So I'm going to have to press this, uh, tell, uh, press take me to a web address, and I'm going to type in the Board of Studies. Uh, website here which I'm going to copy it for myself so I don't have to type it and I'm going to paste it inside here I don't want it to display any text because I'm using a picture instead of words and because it's taking me away from my my website I want to click this button uh, to open it up in a new window press OK OK you can see that it's got the link here and the picture is there. You can obviously resize it, so if you feel that's too big, you can change it to something a little bit smaller. Um, I'm going to enter down, and I'm going to insert my second picture. Um, I think I want the Sydney Morning Herald, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, find a new logo, so I'll type in uh, SMH logo, Okay, that's a nice logo there. Um, I'm going to click it, right click, copy the image, go back to my site and paste it in. Okay, um, you can see that it's two different sizes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click the same size as I had the other one and it should um, come to the same width as, uh, as the last one. Okay, this one doesn't have any links. So what I'm going to do, the same thing again. I'm going to highlight, I'm going to press the link button web address because it's taking me away from the website I'm gonna type in the Sydney Morning Herald uh, website which I'm gonna copy for myself and paste it in there I'm gonna press this checkbox which is gonna open the link in a new window and press OK alright um, at the moment if I press save what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have these two uh, images which is going to take me to the Board of Studies and uh, Sydney Morning Herald respectively uh, if I click them. It also if I want to include a little bit of a description um, these ones are pretty self-explanatory but if you have ones that require a bit more uh, description what you can do um, press edit um, you can include a description next to it by typing this is the Board of Studies etc or um, I find it's a little bit nicer if you uh, have a different layout I'm going to choose two columns I'm going to right justify the ones in the left column the images it's going to bring that to the center and I'm going to type on the in the right hand column I think this just sets it out a little bit nicer. So you can include a description. So in here, so about your courses, blah, 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 blah. You can enter down. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger because it's a little bit hard to read. Maybe even 16. Okay. Sense, sense of that. Um,
based in Sydney, Australia. Um, and you can include a plenty of information there. I'm going to change that to match the size of the other text, and I'm going to press save. Okay, so you've got your um, link, a bit of information, and you're good to go. You can play around with the different uh, settings and styles. So if you feel that that's too far right justified, you can maybe even insert a third column and that pushes it to the left. So you have a play around with the layouts and the justification. So left, center, right justification. And you are, uh, yeah, it's, it's all about you finding the one that best suits you. Okay, thank you.